It's been a while since our last dev diary as all of our focus has been on finishing the game. With the release of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice now imminent, this will be our last dev diary before launch. This is the first time that we're self-financing and self-publishing a major new game off our own backs. And our resources and budget was severely limited for Hellblade. But we didn't want anyone playing the game to feel like we've cut corners. And we knew it would be a fight to get this game done to the quality we wanted, but we didn't really quite anticipate just how hard it would be. We've got a really good chance with this and the platforms are really excited about it. I think we've got some cool things going on marketing-wise, so you know, nothing's guaranteed. But Certainly what we're aiming for with this is, is doable and it's realistic. So. A few months back we hit alpha which meant that the game experience was complete but unpolished. Some areas were strong while others were weak and we knew that the last few months would be crucial as we shifted our focus from content creation to improving the player experience. But how can you make sure that the game is compelling and working as intended when you're so close to the project? A good rule of thumb is that you should never trust yourself. And so we invited people to the studio to play the game. People that we trust, who have a good eye for story, combat, gameplay and so forth. It's not, it's not about the, the shock of a juxtaposed world. It's, uh, it's about a subtle shift. Yeah. And it feels like something in my brain has been shifted. Yeah. The team's sole focus is to address this feedback week on week until we get to the very last day of the project. This includes combat playtesting where we test gameplay mechanics and difficulty with a mix of Ninja Theory staff from other projects, friends within the industry and expert players from the gaming community that we trust, people like Saw Dash. We took all of their feedback and added it to the mountain of things that we knew that we wanted to do to the game. So it's not about getting a hundred people to play test a game and then gathering massive amounts of data and stuff like that. This is a game about the experience, so it's focusing on the quality of the experience. You do what it takes to make the game better, regardless of what your plan or schedule says, and it requires intense focus and concentration from every team member. Nothing is off the cards. If we need new attacks or enemy behaviours, we make them. If we need to reshoot scenes, we get the actors back in, get back on set and shoot them. <laughs> or if we need to completely redesign a section of the game that's not working, we dive in and we do just that. Fear and desperation can set in, but you have to keep reminding yourself that there's no point finishing a game unless it's the game you intended to make. At the same time, there's a massive optimization and debugging effort going on. Getting the game to run at a good frame rate, to fit in memory, and fixing bugs and crashes is an ongoing effort that takes the best part of a year involving most of the same team members. On top of this, there's PlayStation 4 Pro and high MPC support with things like 21x9. 4K across multiple graphics cards and support for 20 languages with subtitles. The list of areas you have to polish seems endless. Combat, traversal, puzzles, animation, cinematics, uh, audio design, music, VFX, story. It, it just goes on and on and it can feel overwhelming. <laughs> but you have to keep your cool, focus on one area, polish it, move on to the next, focus, polish, and you just keep going until you just can't go anymore. And with Hellblade, there was an additional factor that was essential for us to get right. For over two years, we've been collaborating with mental health professionals and people with lived experience of psychosis. We showed them a near final version of the game to get their final feedback to ensure that we weren't misrepresenting them in the experience. We took all of their final feedback and added it to the list. It also inspired us to create a 25 minute documentary feature on our collaboration which is included in the game. The final step is to prepare your game for submission for PlayStation and for PC. Sony in particular have very strict technical guidelines that you have to adhere to. And we plan for three submissions. The first one bounced back due to technicalities, so we fixed these and submitted a second time. That again bounced back and we had our third and final time to submit and pass, otherwise we would miss our ship date. Thankfully, we passed. We hope to prove that the industry still has room for developers like us who want to make smaller, more creatively driven high-end games in genres that AAA publishers have abandoned. But to do so, we have one more battle to fight, and that is to get the word out there. And so from here, we are counting on your support. Thank you.